Welcome to HKZ.TV's Cricket Academy. As you can see, guys, live from Haynot Recreation, live on HKZ.TV, www.hkz.tv, www.hkzcricketacademy.com. As you can see, warm ups, drills, children training, preparing for the bashes that they're going to be facing. We've got some good news. We've got um, some strong associates within the cricketing world who have come forth and um, bringing children down from out of the greater London area which is a great bonus for HKZ.TV's Cricket Academy so we're just gearing up preparing to play those clubs and play those schools and it's the Colts 9s 11s 13s 15s and um, a great sport a great confirmation um, and one of our close members and we will be obviously interviewing them here at a platform soon surprise surprise as always Kabir Ali Shazib Hassan and the children with Victor Griffith obviously uh, a great coach and a great shall we say trainer warming the children up a scenario session they'll soon be playing a T20 match color youth cricket and I'm um, training up with the red ball at the moment there we go until they're ready to go forth for their bash, so don't go anywhere. Stay tuned right with us. We'll have Kabi Rally soon to discuss and run through certain aspects. HKZ.TV's Cricket Academy, home of the stars, as we say. Stars, stars, stars. A lot of tweets that you're seeing. We had the RB benefit match down at Essex with a lot of stars um, and various other great stars there to perform and having interacted with HKZ.TV and that's what it's about to bring the stars here to inspire the youth and inspire the game shall we say so they can move on to a greater and better platform working together with all our associates and partners and obviously steering away from any possible controversy as they say because that is not the aspect that is not the mission here the momentum is um, totally side by side to prepare and nurture talent talent that are going to be tomorrow's future stars stars that will not get lost or crushed in the rush and i think their warm-up session is quite done and let's catch up and see what's happening so stay tuned don't go anywhere lots more coming live with hkz.tv's cricket academy i'm going to sneak up there and see what's going on guys I was right when I sneaked up on them we got a match on its way beautiful weather can't ask for more such a lovely day light everywhere star versus star is our common weekly scenario match system where we're preparing the children for some exciting times coming their ways like I mentioned earlier greater London teams have been confirmed out of London so the next few weeks we're extremely busy down here and preparing the children and identifying talent how are you feeling Vic a great start of the session there Yes, the boys um, put a lot into it already. Uh, hopefully they won't get tired by the 20th over. But the job would be done. I saw you had a one-to-one -one private with the boys in the car park yesterday with Moy and Ali. Oh my word. <laughs> Gosh. It was dead about getting dark. Yeah, but they were okay. You're becoming a big man, Vic. You always were a big man. You're getting greater and greater. Well, I'm shrinking by the day. <laughs> <laughs> we had the other Mahmoud who came up. We had some pictures. Well, I've got my phone full of him. <laughs> <laughs> and then I must say, the surprise that came up, that was a great one, wasn't it? Vittori the jockey, we got a, a gentleman to take a picture of us lot together. And then we said, thank you very much. Thanks for that. We all went away. And then somebody comes up and said, that was a great one. You get the famous jockey to take us a, a picture of yourselves, not knowing that he was the jockey. And I think that was an amazing moment where we had to grab him back. Actually, I thought I recognised the face, uh, but then we kind of said to take, take, take a picture and he thought we wanted a picture with him, but <laughs> I, I, to be honest, he just completely, I, I recognised the face, all of a sudden and somebody said it's Frankie Dutoy, I was like, oh my God, it is, I had to go and apologise and then get him in the picture. <laughs> it was amazing. And all, yeah. it, was, it was good value, he took it, he took it nicely and, and it was brilliant. And the other two, one of your famous, Adil Ray? Yeah. What did you call him, Citizen Khan? Yeah. So you're all over Twitter today with Citizen Khan? Yeah. And um, who else did we have? We had your, um, the, 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 not yours, but you were there, the friends of the family. What do you call them? The, the, the Shahs, was it? The oh, yeah, the, 
Desi Rascals, the the, the <laughs> Desi Shah, Rascals. The Shah, the Shah family was the actually first time I met them, and uh, what a lovely bunch! And they were having a great time, and and luckily I managed to get a picture with them, and it was quite nice. And I think uh, uh, Manoj was brilliant, and I uh, kind of almost had a good 10-15 minutes with him, and it was, uh, it was it was brilliant. They were, they were good value. Excellent. HKZ.TV's Cricket Academy. We're at the Ravi Papara benefit dinner yesterday, supporting all our cricketers, legends in all aspects of concern. And that's what it's about. When you're voracious from the heart, when you're honest, you just keep on going and let destiny take its toll. Right, coming back. You guys enjoyed yesterday quickly, right? Let's look at the camera. Let's turn around. You enjoyed yourself, right? Yes. Famous guys were on TV news this morning as well, as well as HKZ. Yes. Happy? Yes. Right, two stars here, star versus star. We're going to toss up. I've got a T20 match on its way. Good training, preparation. What's the call? Heads. I win tails, you lose. There we go. It's tails. So, Zakria, you lose. You win the toss. What are you planning to do? We're going to bowl first. You're going to bowl first. Is that what you want? No. You want to bat first? Yes. Well, then you got your use. So, technically, you won the toss anyway. Yes. Okay, so you're going to go out there, give us a good performance, play well and get ready for your bashes, right? Yeah. Good luck, boys. Uh, um, Shazib, how are you feeling? It's good. Uh, looking forward and uh, another exciting game. It's good to be here again. Excellent. As always, Hastan, how are you feeling? You're out the game for a while. As we can see, we got Bigfoot and the Henderson here, but it's Bigfoot and the Ramzan. Yeah, hoping to see another game and um, yes, a couple of weeks and I'll be back into it. Hopefully. A couple of weeks back with Cabs and I think they're going to get right back into it. Well, Cabs, there you go. Star versus Star. You're up against um, Shazib as opposed to Atta. I don't know where he's disappeared. He's still supposed to be at the petrol station somewhere. <laughs> We've lost him. I'm, I'm sure we'll find him soon. He'll, he'll make his way here. But yeah, another. obviously I can see the weather's nice and we're looking forward to a good, good game. It's the same as last week. There you go, guys. Stay tuned and we're going to get on the way. Vic, all the best. All the best, guys. Good luck. Right, viewers, stay tuned with us. Another T20 star versus stars children's bash pink ball as you saw Kabir was throwing it all over in his hand a yellow and a pink he had the yellow and the pink ones there as well stay tuned color cricket all around Hi guys, welcome back to HKZ.TV's Cricket Academy. You can see all the yellows, the blues, the coaches, Vic, Atta arrived. And we got Shahzeb over there, just I think getting a bit fresh. Basically, that was a good trial, children. As you know, you're all being, you know, processed through Vic, processed through your coaches, just to see how you perform and who's going to go through to the main bashes that are being prepared. How do you feel? Suleiman, how are you feeling? Good. How, was, how do you think you played? I think you played very well. Yes. Are you enjoying yourself? Yes. Do you think you want to play for the bashes? Yes. How did you feel today? What do you think? Any Anything you'd like to point out today? Um, we played good and, um, and the players 
uh, we had a good team and we, we need to practice on the fielding need to practice on the fieldings that's a very good part that young Suleiman here is identifying that what they need to work on because they've understood through their coaches that these are the children through which will be playing some exceptional games and I'm not allowed to elaborate on what exactly but very soon you'll hear them but for a youngster to say that they need to you know highlight on their fielding that's really good how are you feeling good what do you think that needs to be done in your, you know, you did not win, you lost the game, but you played very well, you kept it very tight in the beginning overall. So well, what, did you, what do you think is your weakness? Uh, we didn't bat re really well out there because we could have made easy mid at 80, 90 runs in 10 overs easily. But we just didn't, we just didn't uh, bat really well out there. And, uh, but when we were fielding, we did good. We, we tried our best to defend 50 but we just couldn't handle it. <laughs> That's really good. That's a positive sign that we, we, we didn't bat very well. He's, he reckons that the young, that guy, the child that 70, 80 runs could have easily been taken. But on the contrary, the fielding, he's saying, was a bit tight as they started off and 50 runs could have been um, defended. That's very positive that the children are talking and the children are identifying their positivities, their weaknesses, and you're hearing it directly from themselves. So I think that's amazing. How do you feel? A 1-0 ball and then consecutively, again, you took the sec you took the wicket. So, I mean, that's amazing. How, how do you feel? What's your overlook on the game? I feel great. Just because um, I think uh, our team played well. We restricted the other team, but we could have done better in our batting. Um, but I still give some credit to the other team because they tried their best. Even uh, even if they didn't bat well, they gave their 100%. Excellent, that's great. How are you feeling? I think it's your first time here today? No, it's not the first time, is it? Second, who came here? It's your first time, isn't it? Come, do you want to come forward? It's your first time here playing at the HKZ.TV's Cricket Academy. You've got professional players, that are legend Atar Rahman there. Um, you've got Victor Griffith, needn't need to say, one of the best high-level coaches. You've got Kabir Ali, you've got Shah Zib Hassan there. How do you feel with the colour cricket, pink ball, first time having come here and played? It was a good experience. I really liked it. You really liked it. We're here. You know. You know. You're going to be. If you get selected, you'll be playing some big matches. How do you feel about that? Uh, confident. Ready for it. Well done. Very good. How are you was well, it? You were young captain today. I think you captained your side really well. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. You think that you did well? Yes, but the batting needs more work. A batting needs more work, maybe because you were playing, you were playing, um, a paying and playing. You were playing some strong boys. That really ups the game. So when you play a stronger side, it just means that you need to be ready for that stronger side. So it's very good. Once again, you see, hearing it from the youngsters when they're talking, that makes our load and the coach's load. What do you say, Kabir? Very easy. What do you think that needs to be worked on, Zikri? Before I go to Kabir. The batting. The batting needs worked upon. So there you go. Children are identifying their own weaknesses, their strengths and fielding. And mind you, look at the sizes. This is what we like to say, that they play very well. Suleiman here played well. We had Aditya, one of the young guys here. Aditya, come forward for a minute. We had Aditya who actually, you know, recently was saying he didn't get a bat or a bowl, but he's very much into the game because you got to let the children in what they can do best. How did you feel? I feel good and we played good well. We didn't really, we needed some work on the fielding and batting, well, we did good. There you go, we needed some work on the fielding and the batting and we did good. Home of the stars, future stars, Kabir, comment with me here, I mean you just heard the children with your little lesson, they're speaking for themselves, how does that make you guys feel that the children are really understanding and what's going on? That's been good. We did a quick little Q and A down there, and we kind of we always we opened the panel up to ask the boys how did this feel, and they, and they seem to they highlight themselves because it's just collectively we've kind of almost trying to breed into them like to identify their own weaknesses, team situations where we could have been better, and, and the couple of areas batting we could have been a little bit better. We needed somebody to stay in for like 15, 20 overs, and the boys highlighted that straight away. We never had enough on the board so but on the positive note the boys went out with out there with the fighting and positive spirit which was massive and we kind of dragged it as 
for as long as we could. And I think the the selection process is going to be quite difficult because all the boys are doing the right things, and we obviously still need polishing from time to time from here and their bits and bobs. But I reckon whenever we pick the first squads, it's going to be quite difficult because the boys are making improvement day by day. I think that's uh, that's absolutely correct. They are making improvement day by day. The selection is going to be difficult because some of the boys, like you said, who are bold with a straight line, coming from the academy, never played before, like Victor said, and set the field earlier on for a good training session so that they can prepare for these trials. How did you feel? You're bowling. When you're bowling straight, you're bowling very well. How are you feeling? I'm feeling very happy when I bowled. I got yeah. two wickets. And that was you got two wickets? Yeah. You've never played cricket apart from, um, before the academy. You never played. Come forward. You've never played cricket in your life, have you? Really? A uh, little. No, not really. No, not really. But since you've come to the academy, how do you feel? From you started in January with us, and now you from indoor to outdoor with Victor, with all these coaches and stars. Do you think that they've really helped you bring on your cricket? Yeah. This is. Uh, I will thank the coaches. Qatar, Shazim, Kabir, Vic, everyone, because um, they helped us practice in the academy. Now here, we're bowling better, and the batting, the fielding, everywhere, it's gone better. I think, my God, that's a very big statement from a youngster. He's thanked Vic, he's thanked Atta, he's thanked you, he's thanked all the coaches, and he's thanked the academy. When you look at the children, you know, when you're, you're hearing this directly from the children, the future stars, and I mean, come on, you, 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 you tell me, Kabir, you've seen this youngster, and you've identified him that you know he struggled but he's got there he's got there and even Vic said that he's you know he can surprise you and and I think a couple of times on the pitch he surprised you I think the first time I saw him I thought oh, where are we going to start from generally with a lot of these boys but now we can see they they go take the field themselves in the right positions everything they can set their own field so just collectively credit goes to everyone educating the boys and at the same time these boys are taking it in, they're, they're soaking all the information in and then when they go out they're trying to express themselves. I mean just, you've got the coaching stuff, you've got, you got Julia here as well who does, plays a vital role at the same time. I think just educating the boys, looking after them, giving them the platform and just guiding them in the right direction and to be honest as he spoke well I didn't realise he could actually say all this and absolutely it just shows how much he's taking in and how much he's learning and he's one of the He's one of the few kids over here. He listens, learns all the time. He tries his level best to do all the right things. Amazing. Makes our job easier. Makes us feel proud and honoured. HKZ.TV's Cricket Academy. We thought today you hear from the children. You hear from Kabir. Thanks to Julia and everybody here. Hasnan, Ata, Shahzeb, Victor and everybody with Furqan, the young guys. Seeing them perform and seeing them come out and show. I think the academy is flying in flying colours. And that's the way we identify ourselves with the colour balls, colour cricket. And actually giving that one-to-one -to, -one to them. Community work. That's all we can say. Stay tuned to HKZ. HKZ.TV's Cricket Academy www.hkz.tv